Hi, I'm Steve Yunus. Welcome to the Speeding Bulletin, your Superman highlights video, bringing you up to speed on everything that took place in the world of Superman from March 13th to March 19th, 2019. Our top news stories this week included a new photo of Henry Cavill performing the iconic shirt rip was posted online. John Cryer spoke about playing Lex Luthor on Supergirl. And DC Comics announced their June solicitations. Let's check out these news stories and more in this week's Speeding Bulletin. But before we push on, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on that bell to receive notifications whenever we post a new video. In movie news, a new photo of Henry Cavill as Clark Kent Superman was posted online via Instagram. The image shows Clark Kent performing the iconic shirt rip scene from the end of the Justice League movie. Harkins Theatres are celebrating the 40th anniversary of Superman the movie by screening the film in multiple theatres in Phoenix, Arizona in May. 11 different theatres in the area will host a 7pm screening of Superman the movie on Tuesday, May 28th as part of their Tuesday Night Classic series. Tickets are just $5 each and can be purchased from harkins.com. The 40th anniversary 4K Ultra HD release of Superman the Movie and the Death of Superman animated movie have both been nominated in the Home Media Awards for 2019. Both Superman films are nominated in the Best Superhero Disc category, with some stiff opposition also up for the same award. Fans are invited to vote ahead of the April 5th deadline, so head to mediaplaynews.com. In TV news, Superman homepage writer Michael Bailey reviewed this week's new episode of Supergirl. Titled Oh Brother Where Art Thou, Michael gave this episode a 5 out of 5, saying, I'm glad that this episode was everything I wanted it to be and more, and that next week we'll not only get more of that, but a resolution to the Russian Supergirl subplot. John Cryer appeared in Sunday night's new episode of Supergirl, playing Lex Luthor for the first time, having previously played Lex's nephew Lenny in the movie Superman for The Quest for Peace. Cryer says he was skeptical at first about playing the role. He said, this Lex is a lot closer to the comics than Gene Hackman's was. This guy is a sociopath, so it's actually a darker play, and I think they were trying to find somebody who could find a twinkle in the eye of that. You can read the full interview at vulture.com. The CW released the promo video for the 16th episode of season four of Supergirl. Check it out. Aliens are among us. I am protecting mankind from an extinction. I will follow you and destroy her. We can't break a Kryptonian, but maybe we can bend one. Supergirl, all new this Sunday at 8, 7 central on The CW. Titled The House of L, this episode is scheduled to air on The CW in the USA on Sunday, March 24th. The CW also released a description for the 17th episode of Season 4 of Supergirl, titled All About Eve. In this episode, Supergirl must deal with the destructive aftermath of Lex's nefarious plans. Shocked at what Lex has created, Supergirl faces her biggest challenge yet. This episode is scheduled to air on Sunday, March 31st. Star Ace announced the upcoming release of their Supergirl TV series, Real Master Series Supergirl 1 8 scale figure. Expected to ship in the third quarter of 2019, the 1 8 scale Real Master Series figure features an authentic likeness of Supergirl from the CW series. Supergirl features a calm expression head sculpt with rooted hair and is dressed in her classic battle suit. Priced at $139.99 US, you can pre-order yours from BigBadToyStore.com. In comic book news, as we reported last week, DC has now confirmed the upcoming DC Black Label release, Superman Year One, featuring creative work by Frank Miller and John Romita Jr. this June, August and October, along with a collection which will be available in November. Superman Year One is a coming-of-age story for the future Man of Steel, featuring a young alien boy just trying to find its place in the new world. The first issue will be available on June 19th. Dark Horse Comics and DC Comics have joined forces to publish a crossover bringing the heroes of Black Hammer and the Justice League together. The five-part miniseries Black Hammer Justice League Hammer of Justice will be written by Jeff Lemire with art by Michael Walsh. Details on the plot are being kept secret for now, but we do know the crossover kicks off when a strange man arrives simultaneously on the Black Hammer farm and in Superman's home of Metropolis, both worlds are warped and DC villain Starro launches an attack. We'll bring you more details when they're available. DC Comics released their June 2019 solicitations, and we've highlighted for you all the Superman-related comics and products listed. Of special note was Action Comics 1012, 
Artist Simon Kudransky joined superstar writer Brian Michael Bendis as the attacks of Leviathan threatened targets across the globe and the agents of the Invisible Mafia continue to infect Metropolis in his tie-in to Event Leviathan. And Superman number 12, the House of L is united in this Superman Supergirl crossover. It's the House of L against everyone as Superman, Jor-El, Supergirl and Superboy face intergalactic attacks from Rogal Zar, General Zod and an armada of alien warriors and assassins. With the truth behind Krypton's destruction set to be revealed, a galactic conspiracy threatens to silence Supergirl and Jor-El if Superman can't live up to his name. Check out the rest of the Dune solicitations at our website. DC announced new details surrounding its young reader imprint, DC Zoom and DC Inc, and revealed first looks at titles scheduled for release in fall 2019. The cornerstone of the announcement are two new graphic novels from DC's middle grade imprint, DC Zoom, that will debut in October. The Secret Spiral of Swamp Kid and DC Superhero Girls at Metropolis High. Head to our website for complete creative teams and on-sale dates for all DC Zoom and DC Inc. titles debuting 2019 and January 2020. All 2019 titles are now available to pre-order. Speaking of these books, DC released an official trailer for Super Sons, The Polar Shield Project. The new book from New York Times best-selling author Ridley Pearson and artist El Gonzalez. This new middle grade adventure reimagines the sons of Batman and Superman and their world for a new generation of fans. Will John Kent and Damian Ian Wayne uncover a surprising conspiracy and save their city? Maybe, if they can stop squabbling for a moment. You can pre-order your copy of Super Sons The Polar Shield Project right now. Comic books we reviewed this week included Superman number 9, which was reviewed by Adam DeChannel who gave it a 2 out of 5 saying Solid idea, stilted execution, awkward dialogue. Adam also reviewed Supergirl number 28 saying Kara is a powerful force on her own and I hope Andraco sticks around beyond this arc and he gave this issue a 5 out of 5. There's only one Superman comic book available this week from March 20th and that is Justice League number 20 which comes in a three part variant cover design. Featuring Thomas Kincaid's best loved images, these gallery wraps are perfect for any space. Get this Superman Man of Steel 10x14 gallery wrap canvas for $69. And how about the Batman, Superman and Wonder Woman 10x8 gallery wrap canvas, yours for just $39.95. These and other Thomas Kincaid Studio canvas prints are available from the Superman homepage online shopping page at supermanhomepage.com shop. In other news, Goodreads.com caught up with author Matt Delapena to ask him all about his new novel, Superman Dawnbreaker. Matt said, Superman is literally an alien, some prefer the term refugee instead of immigrant. It was fascinating to explore this territory in the book, so in addition to the requisite action and world-saving stakes expected in a superhero story, I'm hoping readers will also consider what it means to belong in a rapidly changing America. You can read the entire interview at goodreads.com, and you can purchase the Superman Dawnbreaker novel through our website. DC Entertainment has posted a new episode of the DC Superhero Girls online animated shorts, Titled Pack Bat, Jessica Cruz and Diana Prince stage an intervention when Barbara Gordon's huge arsenal of gadgets threatens to take over the entire hideout. Watch the entire episode at our website. And that's all the news there was for the week March 13th to March 19th. If you found this video interesting or entertaining in any way, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you'd like to support the Superman homepage, then please visit us on patreon.com slash superman homepage. I'm Steve Eunice, see you next week.